Hi everyone, Karen here. So today I am about to take you on a journey, a puzzle journey, a little investigation that I did. So we're gonna start with this puzzle, which is the history of space travel. The design is made by Pop Chart Lab and I totally wore my NASA shirt so that I could be on theme but when I sit down, you can't even see it. So, you know, moving on. Okay, so it all started about a month ago when I was in the Google office for uh, this other project that I do. Um, I design thumbnails for their original shows. So I go down to the office about once a month and in the coffee shop for employees inside the office, they had this puzzle just sitting out. So I was like walking by and I did a double take and I was like, is that a puzzle? Is that Pop-Tart Lab? Has Pop-Tart Lab made new jigsaw puzzles? Because I knew that they had a puzzle line about four years ago now, but I also knew that that was discontinued. So I was like, where did this come from? So I took a photo, put it on my Instagram, thought that was gonna be about the end of it. But then I had the idea to go on Amazon, see if it was available to actually do myself, and it was, so I ordered one. Then when it showed up, of course I, you know, opened it up, did the whole filming myself doing it like I do for this channel. But as I was doing it, I was like, this feels familiar. Well, are you ready for this? Huge twist coming. The company that makes this puzzle, it turns out, is the exact same manufacturer that makes the area wear puzzles. Oh my God, mind blown. This is like the biggest puzzle news. Okay, I need to stop being so over dramatic. <laughs> but I was um, just very interested about why it was essentially the exact same puzzle. Obviously the picture on the front is different, but if we look at the pieces, I mean, they're the exact same. You can see that the cardboard, the piece shape, like the printing process, everything between these two is the same. They're the same puzzle. So after doing that, I just wanted to know where this puzzle came from since it wasn't available on the Pop Chart Lab website. So I emailed them and this is what I got back. So it turns out this puzzle isn't produced by Pop Chart Lab at all. It's actually produced by Penguin Random House and Pop Chart Lab just licensed the use of the print to them. So I looked up Penguin Random House and they have a whole series of puzzles that are the same box design, like the same series. I assume are probably the same type of puzzle inside with the same type of pieces. So basically, unlike what I had first thought, this puzzle is not discontinued. Uh, you can't get it straight from Pop Chart Lab, but it's on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, tons of other retailers. It's made by Penguin. But okay, I'm gonna get into uh, looking at the details of this puzzle soon, but there is one more step to my investigation. So I emailed AreaWare to see if they could comment on basically the similarity of the two puzzles. This is what they said to me, which is a little vague, but it basically confirms that they do use a manufacturer who also produces puzzles for other companies. So I then sent one more email to Penguin Random House and I don't know anyone at Penguin, so I just had to use the contact form on their website, but I guess it was like a weird enough question that they got back to me within like a day or so. And I was so excited when they got back to me because they told me the name of the manufacturer that makes these puzzles. I think I'm going to keep it to myself for now just because it wouldn't really mean anything to you guys and clearly the companies didn't really wanna publicize it. But I am planning to email this, this manufacturer, see what other like types of puzzles they can produce, see if they they can do like thousand piece puzzles. Um, see, maybe if they'll even disclose to me like what other companies they've made puzzles for because I would love to know. I'd love to collect all the different um, versions of this puzzle with all the different pictures on them. And I've also been thinking about maybe someday soon releasing my own jigsaw puzzles. So being able to talk to manufacturers who I know make quality products is 
definitely something that I'm interested in doing. So, I mean, this is an ongoing thing. Um, we'll see where any of that goes, if this company even like gets back to me about any of this. But for now, let's talk about this puzzle. First of all, the box. I love this box so much. The cardboard is so thick. It just feels so beautiful to touch. It's a very, very well manufactured box. And then the design is also beautiful. You can tell that they have a really talented design team because there is a lot of information that they are squeezing onto this box, but it is all beautifully designed. It looks super modern. The puzzle comes shrink wrapped, which I like since it means that it doesn't get damaged in transit. I love the image, the poster that they chose for this puzzle. Um, I'll talk about that more in a minute, but any kind of infographic like this, I think is really fun to do as a puzzle. The sides of the box have a ton of information on them. They're beautifully designed, and I love how the design on the edges of the white rectangles are made out of puzzle pieces being cut out of the design. I think that's just a really fun touch that the designers did. The back of the box, again, has a lot of information, including a little blurb about the puzzle, a smaller version of the entire puzzle design, the actual piece size, and all of the publishing information. Now, this Potter Puzzles mark down at the bottom, that's not the company that manufactures the puzzle that I was talking about earlier. Potter is actually an imprint, which is like a sub-brand of Penguin Random House. So if we look inside the box, it actually comes with a full-size poster of the image, which is the first time I've ever seen this in a puzzle. You know, sometimes they'll include a half-size image or kind of a cheap printout of the full image, but this is the first time I've gotten an actual poster printed on like poster paper, beautifully glossy, beautifully saturated. You're basically getting a bonus Pop Chart Lab poster when you buy this puzzle. Although, of course, it's creased, so it's not quite as nice as if you had bought the poster from them uh, on its own. But since the poster is full size, you could theoretically just do the puzzle right on top of the poster, which would make it way easier to do. The pieces come in a sealed bag, which I was able to cut open. And then, as I said before, the pieces are identical to the area wear puzzles. So if you watch my review of the area wear pattern puzzles, which are the ones that I actually liked more than the gradient puzzles, um, basically everything that I said in that video also applies to this puzzle. The pieces are a really good size and I like how bulbous they are. I just think that's really fun. They're a little bit shiny without being super glossy. So even though it's a really dark puzzle, I didn't have an issue with being able to see what was on the pieces. So I know that a puzzle like this might look tricky since it is a lot of the same type of design over the entire thing, but there were a few elements that I was able to separate right away. And the thing with a puzzle like this is that there is a lot of text. And with text, you can easily tell which direction is up and down. So that gives you a hint to the orientation of a lot of the pieces. Plus some of the graphic elements, like the lines between the different sections of the puzzle, you might not think to look at, but that's actually one of the easiest ways to separate out the different sections. And just like the pomegranate art history puzzles that I talked about a little while back, I love doing educational puzzles like this because it really makes you slow down and look at all of the details that the image is trying to teach you way more than you would if it was just a poster that you were hanging on your wall. I feel like I learned so much about the history of space travel while working on this puzzle, and I kind of wish that every single poster from Pop Chart Lab was a puzzle too. So this puzzle took me about 90 minutes, which I think is pretty good for a 500 piece puzzle. And this is a beautiful design that you could definitely hang on your wall. I mean, obviously, since it was originally a poster, 
which is made to hang on your wall. The pieces stay together pretty well, but if you wanted to hang it up, you would definitely have to glue or tape it together. So this puzzle is currently available on Amazon. It is about $17, which is a little bit cheaper than the $25 that the area wear puzzles go for. So if you like the look and the piece structure of the area wear puzzles that I've talked about previously, this one, as I said, it's the exact same thing, just with a different picture on the front. You can also get it at Barnes & Noble for the same price. It seems like these are pretty widely available, at least here in the US. And if you want more from this same line, they have three other puzzles currently available. And Penguin told me that they would have more coming out in this same puzzle line in the spring and fall of 2020. So I am definitely waiting for those. I will definitely be picking them up once they're out. Okay, so now that we've gotten to the bottom of the mystery of this Pop Chart Lab puzzle, I also just really quickly want to return to their original line of Pop Chart Lab puzzles. So they produced these in-house, or well, I mean, they were just under their brand. They weren't working with Penguin or anything. I have no idea who manufactured these, but it's different than the current space travel one. So there is this one, which I have. It is called a Visual Compendium of Cameras. They also made one which was the same thing, but it had bicycles on it, and then one with typewriters on it. So these came out in 2015, and I actually featured them in my gift guide for graphic designers video that I made on my main channel that year. And you guys, I had the typewriters puzzle in my grasp and then I gave it away to a viewer, and then they discontinued them, and now I can't find them anywhere. So I'm just gonna put it out there into the universe. If anyone has the bicycle puzzle or the typewriter puzzle, I would love to buy them off of you. Trust me, I've looked on eBay, I've Googled, I can't find these anywhere. And I really love this one that I have, the camera's puzzle. I've done it a couple times. It is very high difficulty because look at how similar this entire pattern is over the entire thing. But I think it's really fun. So hopefully someone out there can help me track down those other two puzzles. My email address will be down in the description. So feel free to email me if you have any leads. And even if you can't help me find the puzzles, let me know if you would be interested in a review of these puzzles. I feel like there's kind of not really a point since you can't get them anymore, but they're, they are kind of unique. So maybe if I can track down the other two, I'll do a video about them. Let me know if that's something that you would be interested in or if it would just be like kind of mean to talk about a product that you just can't get anymore. But anyway, I think that is enough nerding out about puzzles for today. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you found this interesting. I love going down little rabbit holes like this. <laughs> so if you're watching all the way to the end, your code word for the comments is spaceship. Okay? And then I'll know that you watched the entire thing. And don't forget to subscribe for new Jigsaw Puzzle videos every week. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.